Friends, today I'm going to tell you the story of a very remarkable book on education. This book is called Toto-chan and it is written by Tetsuki Yukuriangi. This book uh, was published in 1980 in Japan and in the very first year of its publication, it sold more than 45 lakh copies, which was a record. No book in Japan had ever sold so much. Today, more than 80 lakh copies of Toto-chan have been sold in Japan alone. Japan is a very small country with a population of 16 crores. And with 80 lakh buyers of this book, every 20th Japanese has not just bought a copy of Toto-chan, but read it. In the history of education, right from Montessori to Piaget, there isn't a single book in the world which has sold so many copies. Uh, this book is about a very remarkable school in Japan, which was there during the Second World War. And during the war, the school was bombed. So that was the end of the school. And Toto Tetsuki Kuriangi, who was called as Toto as a little girl, she studied in this school. And she is the one who has written about this amazing school. Uh, in 1990, the National Book Trust in India translated and published this book into 11 Indian languages. And the popularity of this book can be gauged by the fact that today in Marathi, Toto Chan is in the 27th edition. More than that, the Maharashtra Textbook Corporation, which is Bal Bharti, many years back in the sixth class English reader, they had a chapter on Toto Chan. This is a very good indicator of the popularity of Toto Chan. Uh, Toto Chan is actually, the title of the book is named on the, uh, on the author, Tetsuki Kuriangi. She was called as Toto as a little girl. And in Japan, there is a tradition of, of adding Chan or San after the name of a girl. So she was called as Toto-san or Toto-chan, and hence the name of the book, Toto-chan. Uh, it's about a school called as Tomo, which was started by a visionary principal, Kobayashi. Kobayashi wanted to establish a school which was child-centric and which would captivate the imagination of a child. So he bought nine railway compartments, railway coaches in junk, old ones, discarded ones, and removed their wheels. So the whole school was made up of nine railway carriages. One was the principal's room, one was a science laboratory, one was a, a library, and the other were classes for the children. Now Toto, when she was four years old, like all children, she was very, very curious, she was very naughty, and her mother had put her in an ordinary school. Now, Toto didn't like it very much. He found that school to be a little boring, and Toto would be, uh, she found the most interesting spot in her classroom was the window. So there is a subtitle to the book, The Little Girl at the Window. Because there were lots of activities going around on the road, there would be musicians passing, and Toto enjoyed looking at them. Toto also discovered that her desk in the school had a hinge, so she could lift it up and put it back, lift it up and put it back. And then Toto was thrilled. She would open the desk, put a pencil, and slam the desk back. Then open it again, put a rubber, then the eraser, and then the cutter. And the whole day she kept doing that. And the teacher got so bugged with this, she, she called her hyperactive. And Toto Chan was actually expelled, thrown out from the school. Because the teacher found her to be extremely mischievous. Toto Chan's mother was very sensitive. She never told Toto that she had been thrown out of school. She only told her that, uh, my dear child, I know of a better school, which you might like very much. 
So holding the hand of a little girl, Toto's mother takes her to Tomo, the rail school set up by Kobayashi. There were two tall trees and there was a small plaque there saying Tomo. And Toto looks from on top of the hill and she finds these nine railway carriages and she just falls into love with the school. The mother, of course, is very afraid. Uh, Toto had just been thrown out of school. So they go to the principal's rooms and they knock. As soon as the mother enters, the principal can see the fear on the mother's face, her anxiety, and he asks her that you go away. Come back after three hours. And then Toto takes over. The first question she asks Kobayashi, tell me, sir, are you a station master or are you a schoolmaster? And then for the next three hours, Toto chan keeps babbling. She just keeps ferreting out the, the kinds of games which she likes, the food which she eats, all about her friends. And for three years, she just keeps talking and talking. And in the end, she says, I have nothing left to tell you more about. And at this moment, Kobayashi says, that yes, Toto, you are a student of the school, and now let's go and have some lunch to eat. So they go out in the yard. There were about 50 children with their boxes, lunch boxes, and Kobayashi asks only one question. Have you got something from the ocean? Have you got something from the mountains? Meaning thereby that have you got some fish in your food, which is protein rich? Have you got some fruits from the hills? which are vitamins, and Toto finds this to be absolutely interesting. Uh, Kobayashi is a visionary principal. Uh, he doesn't foist anything on the children. He has a very different notion of teachers. Uh, he thinks that people who have been to a teacher training college, have a beard or an emet, are not the best people to teach to be with children. So often he invites some very interesting people as teachers into the school. For instance, a bicycle mechanic who is extremely skilled and who can repair a bicycle. The kids are fascinated and they surround him and they see very closely what he's doing. One day Kobayashi calls a farmer, invites a farmer as a teacher. This farmer had years of experience in farming and he was teaching children uh, how to do gardening. Kobayashi was also very sensitive for special children. There are many children with polio and all kinds of other afflictions and he would organize special races, special competitions where the special children won and this boosted their confidence. Toto-chan is, is the star in the world of education. It's been read to three-year-olds and 103-year-olds have enjoyed this book. So it spans a whole spectrum of people. As parents and teachers, you would love this beautiful book, Toto-chan. Thank you.